Welcome to part three of the tutorial in Camera Raw. In this uh, lesson, we're going to talk about the Detail tab. So first, we would have went to Basic and made our adjustments top down. Then we will go to the Detail tab. And remember, you want to view it at 100% when you're um, adjusting your settings. So I'm going to select an area over here. Okay, bring that into focus. Okay, so I have some words to look by and link in here and everything else. And let's talk about some of these settings. So this is the sharpening area. This is the noise reduction area. The sharpening, you have a mount. A mount adjusts the edge definition. Increase the amount value to increase the sharpening. A value of zero will turn it off, according to Adobe. Radius says, hey, adjust the size of those details that sharpen is applied to. So photos with very fine details may need a lower setting. Photos with larger details may be able to use a larger radius. And then I would further go to next to go to detail. Detail adjusts how much high frequency information is sharpened in the image and how much the sharpening process emphasizes edges. So lower settings primarily sharpen edges to remove the blur. Higher values are useful for making the textures in the image more pronounced. And then the uh, fourth one we have masking. So masking at a hundred or at a setting of a hundred, sharpening is restricted just to the edges. At a setting of zero, everything in the image receives the same amount of sharpening. And this is according to the Adobe uh, Photoshop Elements Manual. Okay. And then we have our noise reduction, which is luminance is the grayscale noise, and then we can adjust the color uh, chroma noise. Okay. So let's uh, give it a shot here. So basically, the first thing I'm gonna do is I like to move my mouth all the way to the right to see what's gonna happen. Okay. It's easy to look for. I, I don't want that kind of weird look there. Okay. And then I'll go to radius and see what I can get away with. Okay, maybe about here. Detail. Okay, I'll probably get away with it right here. And the masking, remember if masking is at a zero, it's applied to everything. And if you look at a hundred, it's applied to the strongest edges and see how it started blurring out everything. So that's not good. So maybe maybe equally is actually better in this picture. Okay, maybe the sharpening needs to come down a little bit more. And then I can um, do the noise. Noise is interesting because watch this. If I slide this to all the way to the right, which is a grayscale noise, look what happens to the image. Remember, noise reduction is a fine line. Re reduce the noise, get rid of detail. Increase your detail, keep some of the noise. So it's always a trade-off. So color, you have to be careful because color may look like it's not doing something. But if you look here at this red, watch what happens when I move the color all the way to the right. It gets darker. So it does affect it. Okay, now let's look at a press P for before and after. Not much change. They probably could use a little bit more sharpening. So let me go here and sharpen it just a little bit more. But now I'm starting to see that weird texture come in. Okay. And the next lesson, we're going to talk about how would you adjust two photos at the same time, taking in a similar setting. 